And welcome back. Spring is right around the corner and it's time to talk spring sports and one that continues to gain steam is lacrosse. Well, I'm a senior lacrosse team with us in studio. Frank will be along with a couple of the players later, but I've got Nate Garlock with me. You know, Nate, hey, we were just here about a month ago talking high school basketball and here we are again talking a little bit of lacrosse. That's yeah, what you got to love about high school sports, right? And seasons just keep on moving and now the weather's starting to turn on us come to the end of basketball season and now focus is going into spring sports and we're excited. And you wear many different hats, so talking basketball and now we're going to switch and now you put your lacrosse hat on or your lacrosse stick, whatever it looks like, <laughs> and, and you go. So how, we, we've talked the last couple of years. We talked a couple of years ago when lacrosse was just getting started at Lima Senior. Uh, how has it progressed? What are some of the changes, some of the growth that you've seen in the, this will be your third season now since lacrosse has gotten going? Yeah, with the third season, I think it's some of the, the comfortability, obviously, uh, you know, the familiarity that a lot of people are starting to have with the sport. Um, we're starting to gain fans and people are starting to come out and kind of understand what the sport's about. And um, for me, you know, we're kind of hitting a reset here in the third year. Um, our first two years, we were really junior and senior heavy. We've graduated all those guys. You know, we've got 11 guys graduated in the last two years. And so now we're kind of starting over, bringing in a whole new group of kids who are, who are just learning again and, and are young. And we have a nice mix of, uh, you know, guys who are just learning, guys who are experienced and been with us for a few years. So it's an exciting time and it's fun to see the progression and seeing the kids start to, you know, um, really enjoy this sport and it not being so new anymore. It's, you know, something that they're looking forward to and learning a lot about and are excited about. You know, with having younger kids involved in it now, so how many of them are you seeing that have not, that have gone from say, hey, I have heard about lacrosse, I think that might be kind of fun to do, like maybe you had in your first couple of years, to now they've, they've seen the team, they've seen you guys come up with some wins, they've seen you guys have some success, and they've decided, you know, I want to be a part of that. They want to experience it more than it's just kind of a curiosity. Um, pretty much everybody that's joining us now, it's, it's been that way. It's no more kind of like this novelty thing and it's like, oh, I don't know what that's about. You know, they, they want to be a part of something. They want, they see that we're growing, you know, we're, we're having a lot more success. We're sending a lot of kids off to college on scholarships, getting opportunities, uh, you know, after high school to, to do things. And, you know, with the growth of the sport and, and the way that it's starting to really progress, um, even through college and professionally with the new uh, PLL, it just started over the last year. You know, it's really growing and, and expanding and kids are excited about it and they want to be a part of it. Every year when you talk about other sports, you look at kind of what did you like about last year? What are you looking to improve? Kind of with that, now that you've got a couple years under your belt, what did you like about your team last year? And what are you looking to step up and improve upon as you go into this season? You know, last year it was all about growing. Um, you know, that first year we were all just trying to kind of figure a lot of things out. And now we have the opportunity to, to start really progressing on that. And, you know, we don't have to, it's no more just getting out there and kind of getting our feet wet. Now, you know, we, we, we want to win. You know, we're starting to develop rivals. Teams are looking forward to playing. You know, and this year now with all the seniors that we've graduated, it's, uh, I really like seeing the next group really stepping up and taking ownership of our team. Our whole theme is accountability and they're holding each other accountable. And that really makes it a fun season. And we can really get after a lot of things. Has it been quicker to get the team together, get workouts set up, get uh, practices going this season than it has maybe the last couple of years? Yeah, by far. This year has uh, been one of our better starting ones. We've been able to get after it a lot quicker. Um, thanks to some, some weather here in Ohio, we've been able to uh, do a few things sooner than we have been in the past. Been able to get out on the field a little bit quicker. Um, and that's what you got to love about Ohio weather. You know, you, you, um, but it's really helped us progress faster and introduce things to kids quicker. And we're not having to start at the very beginning and we're able to, to jump into things that maybe we weren't doing maybe till week three or four last year. We could do it right off the bat on the first day of practice and that's been really helpful. So you open your season in uh, just well under a month at the end of this season or I'm sorry the end of this month you'll open up with um, with Mentor correct? With Newark yes. With Newark uh, yep. okay. Um, on March 20th uh, first night of the season we'll be down on a Friday night playing Newark. Um, they're one of those teams that we're uh, kind of started to develop a rivalry with um, so we're excited to get down there and play them and, and really get things going. Um, we start tomorrow. We got three scrimmages up in Sandusky, so we get to get on the field and, and start going up against other teams and seeing where we're at. So, you know, we're in full swing and we're really excited. Excited for lacrosse season, and we'll uh, hopefully we'll have some of those here on WOSN. Get to a couple of lacrosse games. Look forward uh, to that. Well, Frank Altieri is over on the other set. He has some of the players for this year's Lima Senior Lacrosse Team. Frank, what do you got? That's right, Patrick. I've got two attackmen here, Andrew Zell, a junior, and Devin Scott, a senior. Guys, welcome. And I'm from the Northeast, and lacrosse is huge over there, so it's good to see young guys with a passion for this game. What was your first exposure to lacrosse? Um, well, I really, uh, two years ago, when we first got the sport, I never heard anything about it. So, you know, when we had the meeting, 
to see if we were interested. I went, I signed up, and then first day of practice came around and I went and I had fun ever since. Yeah, so my first exposure was from Ohio Northern University, ONU. They had on homecoming day like some booths set up and I went through and I've like never heard of lacrosse so I seen it, picked up a stick and from there Lima Senior lacrosse wasn't a thing yet. So I like played club in Toledo so it was like an hour drive to practice and then finally Lima Senior lacrosse got a thing so. That's commitment. Yeah, so now I've been a part of this program ever since. And last year you guys got to kind of taste the postseason first round exit but how important was that for you guys to really kind of set a goal for this year to get back there? Well, personally for me, I didn't get to experience that. I was out with an injury, but um, I know it was a big accomplishment for our team to win our first playoff game against Johnstown Monroe. And uh, to win at ONU was even a bigger you know, accomplishment. Yeah, definitely. It was pretty great last season. So we got our expectations pretty high this season. We're trying to, you know, always do better. So. And the preseason is such an interesting time for lacrosse because you're just kind of getting out of the winter and you need to be outdoors. You need to be able to spread it out, you know, behind X and work your offense. How important have the outdoor practices uh, been to your continuity so far? Oh, it was really important. Uh, outside, we have way more space and way more like time out there pretty much. Instead of inside in the gym, we have, you know, we're all closer together and we had to fit around, you know, basketball schedule, you know, middle school basketball and other stuff. Yeah, definitely. When we have an opportunity to be outside, we're going to take that opportunity. The only reason we'll be inside is if it's, you know, terrible weather conditions. But yeah, all the guys, we'd love to be outside. What's one way as a team you're looking to improve on as you go into yet another lacrosse season? Um, pretty much teamwork, you know, ability to work with each other. You know, we've had uh, many more chances this preseason to bond with each other. Yeah. Um, just last week, Coach Nate took a group of us uh, down to uh, Columbus to watch the Ohio State lacrosse game. So that was a good opportunity to bond with each other and even learn a couple of things from higher experienced players. Definitely like the bonding and building the chemistry up and communication is going to be a big you know, factor into the season. And lacrosse is such a visual sport. How important is it to you guys to watch film, whether it's college or even professional? There's a lot of beneficial things from that. Um, I'm a huge Syracuse lacrosse fan. Mm -hmm. I, I want to know your thoughts on kind of studying film. Um, well, it's really important because it allows you to, you know, see stuff in the heat of the moment that you probably didn't see when you were playing. Or if you look at you know, college lacrosse, you can see, you know, how uh, higher uh, level teams you know, work their offense, you know, work the ball around, and just their knowledge of the game. Yeah, watching film is pretty important. We try to do it after every game. We know some takeaways, some things to do, not to do, stuff like that. And we'll always be suggesting, like, some videos on YouTube for each other to watch, like big shooters like Paul Rabel and stuff like that. We'll all be like, hey, go back and watch his one video. Maybe you can improve on this or something. He is probably the greatest player of all time. Guys, good luck this season. Andrew Zell and Devin Scott here on TV44.